Olé, 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 and welcome to All Your Living Needs. I'm your host, Jono, and now we're going to talk about CONCACAF, which is, uh, to, it's happening, DC United versus Waterhouse, um, on Wednesday, August 20th at 8 p.m. So, DC won against Colorado Rapids 4-2 to on Sunday, August 17th, and they were on fire all night with Lewis Silver scoring two goals, Chris Rolfe assisted by Kemp, and Espindala making the final push into four goals at the 86th, fourth, uh, four goals at the 86th, by the 86th minute. Colorado wasn't having an off night, uh, it's just they couldn't keep up with the pressure put on them by a team having an incredible year. No one's on the disciplinary report. Um, the disabled list is really extensive, uh, including midfielder Chris Pontus with a left hamstring, um, goalkeeper Andrew Andrew Dykstra with a left Achilles, defense uh, Jeff Park with a left ear surgery. Um, that's an interesting one. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, defense Nana Adakora with a concussion. Forward Connor Doyle with a left knee surgery. Uh, defense Chris Korb with a left hamstring. And forward Michael Steeton uh, with a left quad. They're currently number two in the Eastern Conference. Now we go to Waterhouse. Now, uh, this is one of the CONCACAF teams, uh, foreign teams. They won their match against Taro. Uh, FC 2-1 to one, with all their goals coming within the first half. Romero Camp Campbell, Campbell scored in the second minute with a 27-yard free kick and Vincent Earl scored for Waterhouse in the 19th minute af immediately afterwards. Uh, those are both on the same team, so those are the two uh, scores there. Vincent Earl scored in the opening 20 minutes as a ten, um, in the 64th minute, Upton Edwards was sent off, forcing Waterhouse to play with 10 men, but it didn't really matter by that point. Um, so, notes on the prediction. This could actually be an interesting game out of the CONCACAF games that I'm going to be talking about. For the most part, since I don't really know any of the non-MLS teams, I'm expecting a landslide. Uh, however, with Waterhouse, I am fairly impressed with their rapid firing on the goalkeeper and their ability to keep their opponents running. Now, it's possible that by comparison, Toro uh, FC is just worthless and DC United have nothing to worry about, or there might actually be a challenge here. So, I'm going to set the goal prediction at 2-1 to one for DC United. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see where that all goes, and as we get deeper into CONCACAF, uh, how this is all playing out. These are, um, you know, these are not well-funded uh, teams from, you know, South America and, uh, and the Caribbeans. So I think that when they come up against teams that are well-funded and have good coaching staff and there's a lot of practice and there's a lot of focus like that, uh, it, it, they tend to, but I could be wrong because so far uh, nobody, none of the U.S. teams have won CONCACAF, so I could be completely wrong. So, but we'll see this year. I, I think that MLS is changing and I think it's getting better and uh, I, I think we're going to see a dominancy in this type of level of gameplay. That's my off-the-cuff remarks. Uh, I've just written all my CONCACAF for, for the next couple of days, so I'm kind of just questioning, scratching my head about this whole, this whole challenge. Anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've probably bored you to death now. Uh, if you watch enough of my videos, you're probably bored to death anyway, but I'm doing the best that I can with CONCACAF. So, uh, ole, ole, ole. Uh, have a great and safe week. Cheers. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.